I'm Sam Wilkin, and through this series of films, I'm going to be introducing you to the people and the place behind one of Britain's best loved cheeses. Baron Bygod. We'll see the seasons change in the Waveney Valley, and we'll get a deeper understanding of the passion and the craft that goes into making this incredible farmhouse cheese. This is Fen Farm Dairy. So it was about 300 kilos of unsalted yesterday, there'll be about 300 of salted today. Before I was here, I was a lorry driver. I used to deliver milk for a local dairy. Uh, that's where I got to meet Steve. The company closed and Steve said, why don't I come, come down here? We've got such beautiful surroundings along the Waveney Valley. The cows come into the parlour, the milking's done. The milk is then transferred into a big holding tank at about 35 degrees. The separating machine separates the cream from the skimmed milk. These are all the buckets of cream um, which we'll be using today. We add our cultures and we leave it in the room for the next 12 to 18 hours. We hand-picked our cultures and the one we used was the best flavour. So we'll bring this all through here. At the moment, because the yield has gone down a little bit, um, it'll probably be about 80 kilos of butter in that. Um, when the yield goes up, we can normally push about 100 kilos of butter out. But this time of year, it drops down a little bit. We are mainly known here at the farm for the Baron Bigard, but the butter side of the business is very important because it allows us to get into a wider area of customers. Paddle, just to scrape around the buckets. The butter is quite often used in the making of breads and cake. It will start going round. On the outside of the churn we have a water jacket. It will bring the temperature of the cream up somewhere between 16 and 18. And that's the optimum temperature for us to do it at. We just keep an eye on it and you'll hear it will start to get thicker. I think it's an eye for detail. You've got to be a perfectionist to make good butter. Now you can see how thick it is. It's all clinging to the, the top. It's just a waiting game for it to. Patience is what you need. <laughs> and I have plenty of that. So we're looking, well, on the perspex, we're looking for like this, which is the buttermilk. And we'll look inside. And there we go. And there we have butter and buttermilk. It is quite solitary. I enjoy my own company and I quite like to do things like that. We wash it to get a, any cream which is left over because it will make it taste sour. We use Molden's coarse sea salt in our butter because we find it gives it a much nicer flavour and a nice crunch to it. Our Butter is popular because it is all handmade, and we, we put a lot of time and care into our product. We continue to work the moisture out of it. It makes it more pliable, so it keeps its shape until it solidifies, just like in the manufacture of chocolate.
We taste it weekly as well. I get good feedback from Johnny and we get good feedback from our customers as well, which is satisfying for us. On our butter boxes, we have a picture of the Bungie Butter Cross, which is situated in the centre of town. The first official market was here in the 13th century, and there has been a weekly market here on a Thursday ever since. It's all over social media. People love it. We get good feedback, we get good praise. Perhaps I'm a glory hunter. <laughs> I've had some rubbish jobs, but this is a good one. <laughs>